In this video, I'm going to show you 4 powerful text tricks that'll instantly make your videos look more cinematic and professional, whether you're editing short films, reels, or client projects. So open up Premiere Pro, follow along, and let's get started. Trick number 1. Cinematic Bars. After opening Premiere Pro, you can see that I've placed a beautiful cinematic shot on my timeline. Have a look. You've probably noticed in many films and cinematic videos that there are black bars at the top and bottom of the video. These are called cinematic bars or sometimes referred to as cinemascope. Today we'll add those same bars to our video. First, go to the effects panel and search for crop. Drag and drop the crop effect onto your video. Now enlarge the program monitor so you can see the video more clearly. Then go to the effect controls panel, you'll see that the crop effect has been applied. Here we have options like left, top, right and bottom. These allow you to crop the video from any side. But before cropping, make sure to enable safe margins. This will help you estimate how much to crop from the top and bottom, and ensure the bars are even on both sides. Let's start by cropping the top. Click on top and crop down to the first line of the safe margin, like this. Now do the same for the bottom. Make sure to enter the same percentage that you applied to the top, for example, 5%. As you can see, black bars have now been created at the top and bottom of our video. However, I feel the bars are a bit small. Let's make them larger so they're more visible. I'll enable safe margins again and this time crop 10% from the top, and the same amount from the bottom. Now you can see our video looks much more cinematic, beautiful, and professional. Trick number 2. Text Reveal Animation. First, select the Type tool and click anywhere on your video. Type the text you want, I'm going to type cinematic bars for this example. Now go to the window menu and click on essential graphics. You'll see the essential graphics panel open on the right side. From here you can customize your text however you like. Choose any font you prefer, I'll stick with the current one. Then click on the alignment buttons to position your text as you want. Next, scroll down to find the shadow option. Here you can increase or decrease the shadow amount. I'll give it just a subtle touch. Now let's animate the text. Select the text layer. Go to the effects panel. Search for transform. Drag the transform effect onto your text layer. Now go to the effect controls panel. You'll see the transform effect with options like anchor point and position. You can use these to position your text wherever you want. Let's undo that control plus Z and start fresh. Move the playhead a little forward in the timeline, then click the position stopwatch to create your first keyframe. Now go back to the point where you want the animation to start and change the position to move the text off screen, or wherever you like. You'll notice keyframes have been created automatically. Play the video, you'll see the animation is a bit slow. Adjust the keyframe spacing based on how fast you want the text to reveal. Next, go to the effects panel again, search for crop, and drag it onto your text layer. Then in the effect controls, select the crop effect. In the program monitor, you'll see crop handles on all four sides, top, left, right, and bottom. Now manually drag those handles to crop around your text, just enough to hide it. Play the video again, you'll see our text is animated. But let's make it smoother. Click the drop-down arrow next to position. Right-click the second keyframe, go to temporal interpolation and choose ease in. Right-click the first keyframe and select ease out. To make it even cooler, adjust the velocity curve. Click the small arrow next to position, and you'll see the velocity handles. Grab the right handle and drag it to the left. You'll see the speed ramp up. But I want the text to zoom in and hit the screen quickly, so let's bring both handles close together. Now play it. Our text enters fast and hits the screen smoothly. Looks cool, right? Lastly, increase the shutter angle under the transform effect to give it motion blur. I'm increasing it a bit and here's the final preview. And that's it. Our text reveal animation is ready. Trick number 3, stylish text look. First, let's change the color of our text. You can select any portion of your text and change its color individually. For example, I'm selecting just the word, cinematic. Now go to the essential graphics panel, scroll to the bottom, and under fill, click the color box to choose a new color. Select any color you like, I'll go with this one. As you can see, only the selected text changed color. Now I'll select just the word bars, and apply a different color to it, maybe the same one for consistency. You can pick whatever suits your design. Next, let's add an outline to the text. Right below the fill option you'll see stroke. Click to enable it. This adds an outline around your text. 
You can also change its color. I'll choose white for a clean look. You can adjust the stroke thickness as well for better visibility. Now let's add a background box behind the text to make it pop. Just below stroke you'll see the background option. Enable it. By default, it's semi-transparent. Change the color, I'll use black. If the background looks too faded, increase its opacity until it becomes more visible. You can also adjust the background size and even round the corners using the corner radius setting. Like this. And that's it. We now have a stylish, professional-looking text with custom colors, a white outline, and a subtle background box. Trick number 4. Text Reflection Effect. As you can see in my video there are mountains in the background and water below, so I want the text reflection to appear on the water to give it a more cinematic look. First, select your text layer. Hold down the Alt key and drag it upward with your mouse to create a duplicate. Now select the top layer. This is the copy we'll be working with for the reflection. Go to the Effects panel and apply the following three effects to your duplicated text layer. Vertical Flip. Linear Wipe. Gaussian Blur. Just search each one and drag them onto the duplicated text layer. Now go to the Effect Controls panel. Let's close all of these because I want to explain everything to you in detail. First, adjust the position of the flip text to align it just below the main text, so it looks like a reflection. Then reduce the opacity to make it more realistic. You can try something like 50%, 60%, or even lower depending on your scene. I'll start with 40%, but we'll tweak it later if needed. Now open the linear wipe settings. Set the wipe angle to 0 degrees, instead of the default 90 degrees. Adjust the transition completion. Try around 50% to 60%, depending on how much of the reflection you want visible. Increase the feather to smooth out the edge. Now go to the Gaussian blur settings. Change blur dimensions to horizontal for a more natural look. Set blurriness to a small amount, just enough to make the reflection look soft. And there you go. Your text reflection effect is complete. 4 Professional Text Tricks in Premiere Pro to Elevate Your Video Editing Game If you found these helpful make sure to like, subscribe and share it with other creators. Let me know in the comments which trick was your favorite, or if there's a specific effect you want me to cover next. This video is created by Visual Nova. <laughs>